Christian Wajo here. I'm here with the Snake Eye deck. Um, I'm here to show you guys the combos and all the optimal plays and interruptions you can put up with the regular combo the deck has. Um, me and Pac worked with this deck, as well as our teammates, Luca and Walter, and Kamal and Ruben. Um, I'm gonna show you guys just basically everything we know about the deck, all the combos and how to play your interruptions correctly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. So this combo is gonna be Snake Eye Ash plus Switch. This is the most broken combo in the deck. It has the most interruptions, max interruptions, and it plays around hand traps. Um, so I'll just start this one off. So you go summon Ash, Ash is Populous, Trigger Populous, Summon Populous, it's effective trigger, getting you the field spell. It's important because Populous can't only, he can, Populous can search both Temple and Original. So you wanna make sure you can get access to at least Temple in this combo, because worst case you do like Ash stuff. Um, which can only get you access to original, so you want to make sure you can do this. Um, so yeah, Link Populous away. For Link Rebo. Uh, Populous is going to put itself in the spawn trap card zone. So right now you have Temple, Witch in your hand. And you have like three non-engine cards. So it can be like Cross Out, Talents, or like some hand trap. Let's say you do like Cross Out, Failure, or Troll. So here, you're going to summon Witch and activate Witch's effect. You want to do this first before you activate the Temple because you don't know if Witch is going to resolve because if they hand trap your Witch randomly and they didn't hand trap your Ash for some reason, you, you want to grab um, a different card off Temple than you would if this does resolve. So um, you're going to activate Witch, which is going to set you original. Then you're going to activate the field spell. Again, this is still only four summons, so they can't debut you yet, so you don't have to place the field spell yet until you for sure know that everything's going to happen. Here the flame bird off the Promethean Princess, you can break a level one monster. Uh, I personally like leaving a dragon in a deck because I think it's a better resource game. So you don't have to use uh, the original of the following turn to put it back into your deck. So here you have this board, because uh, the Oak Sack, the Promethean to summon Ash. Here you just discard any random card. You can discard Baylor. It's probably the worst one. Summon back the Jet. Then make Formula Synchron with the Jet and the Ash. So you draw another card. And then this is your end board and playing just ending on the end board isn't enough you actually also have to know how to play after this so like usually you want to use your savage first and then after savage resolves you want to make baron the player on super poly at all times because if you make if you make baron with these two you can get super poly for a draco quest If you summon I, um, if you summon IP Master Ana randomly before you use a Savage Negate, you can get Super Poly Mud Dragon. 
if you if you use Flamer to affect the target IP Mascarena randomly, they can Cosmic it. So you want to make sure you use Temple's effect first to summon IP Mascarena. If they chain Cosmic, you still don't have to negate it with the Savage. You can just chain Flame Bridge to summon it. Um, these are just small things that I've seen people do and make small mistakes on, but it's definitely very important because knowing the combo and ending on the end board isn't enough. You also have to just play, like you have to know how to use your option properly. It's not just enough to just like play the, just like knowing the combos. Cause I think a lot of people mistake that. It's like, oh, I know the combos. I'm really good at the deck. It's like, that's not the only way you're going to be winning games. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can say. But yeah, you also have the Prometheus in the grave. This is like seven or eight interruptions. Plus you're going to have like whatever non-engine you drew on top of your end board. Like this is going to make Baron. I can put the Baron on the grave here. This is gonna make SP. You're gonna get two bodies back. You get the jet back if you want, you get it to your hand. You're gonna have Promethean as well. You're gonna have the follow up in the grave with the original. You're gonna have the cross out. There's just so many interruptions. You shouldn't be able to lose even if you do mess up, but this is like, the only way to lose really is if you play into Super Paw, you play into ta random talents randomly because you didn't use your, um, Formula, your formula on res after you negate it with savage but yeah that's that's the first combo yeah and this combo is just gonna be just snake ash this is gonna be the more conservative like player on hand trap combo i'll also show the other combo where it's just like boss of the wall like um if you know your opponent doesn't have hand traps um if you guys saw the uds tournament uh top four i showed wanse this combo or not this combo but i showed the next combo that we're gonna do after this one where it's the most interruptions you can get with ash but it plays into every single hatchup in the game. And he, and he only got to do that combo because his opponent had, they had an open deck list sheet, so you can see whatever uh, hand traps and stuff they play, and his opponent had no hand traps. Um, you can go for the Omega combo if you draw cross out and you have checked all the hand trap checks, but it's very gambly and risky to do that combo. But it is the most interruptions, but this is the most standard one. This is the most basic. Um, it gives you the most cards and the most follow-up, and I'll do this one for you guys. So if someone Ash, Ash is gonna search Populous. Populous effects is gonna search you. Temple. Um, you always wanna get Temple usually because it's just the safest card. Um, it's gonna help you play on Ibiru. It's gonna give you follow up. It's gonna summon cards on your opponent's turn. This is just really good. Once you have this card in like non-engine, it's just really hard to lose. Um, yeah, this is just the best card. So you're gonna activate the field spell. A lot of people think you get Flame Bridge here because it helps you play around Nibiru, but it's actually better to grab Oak here. Oak is really good here because I'll show you, but you're going to sack these two away to summon a Flame Bridge. And this is really awkward, right? Because you're not making Link Rio, but it's actually better. If you play uh, double SP, that one 
is okay. It basically, instead of that IP you would have made, you would have made like an SP. And they're not gonna nib you there because it doesn't make sense for them to nib you. Because SP can just banish to you, right? And you're gonna summon the flame bridge. So then when you summon that SP, you can make Promethean right after. And if they nib you there, then you're gonna get the same board, but you're gonna have that Promethean in the graveyard with an SP instead of the IP. But um, this combo is, is, is a little suspect because if they don't nib you, your board is a lot worse. But it's like if they have nib, it's a little bit better. But yeah, this is a Just Snake Eye Ash combo. And again, if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment and I'll try to get to you guys. And then this is the Snake Eye Ash combo I talked about. This is the one like doesn't respect any hand traps. Um, Juan Andres used it. Once he used it at the UDS in top four because we knew he didn't have any hand traps in his deck. And we knew that this combo would automatically win him the game if he got to resolve it. So it's Snake Eye Ash, get Populous. Populous if I get original. Again, this plays through no hand traps, so you will auto lose if they have one interruption. So I'm going to pop this fucked. Here you sack the pop. Summon Oak. Oak effect, summon back to Ash. Then you use the Oak to sack the Kariba. To summon the Flame Bridge. Then you use the Ash and the Flame Bridge. Summon Link uh, Summon IP. Uh, Flame Bridge trigger to summon two more cards. Again, this place, you know, hand so Bell there would also just like kick you. But let's say you have like cross or something, you did all the checks, you could also go for this combo, but it's very suspect because I really like having access to the field spell to kind of have like resource game. But um, here you would go Link, summon Promethean. Promethean's gonna summon back your Flame Bridge. Flame Bridge effect's gonna summon your IP and your spawn trap grid zone. And then here you'd go Original, sack the Princess. Summon the jet. Then you can use the jet and the oak to make formula. So here in this instance, you have formula that's gonna sync her with the flame bridge to make Baron. You're gonna chain the flame bridge to summon back the IP. Then your flame bridge is gonna trigger to summon back to all the ones. Then your oak can trigger and your ash is gonna trigger. You can Add back, um, popular, and you can add another popular to summon popular, and you can search whatever. And then on the resolution of that, you can make Apollo, or you can make SP, or you can keep it like this, Promethean, Chain, IP, or some sort of like combination of that. So it's basically like, there's like five interruptions, plus you still have four cards, and then you drew another card off the formula, so you have five cards in hand, so there's some combination of cards set in your hand and in your hand. Um, in this combo, if you draw, let's the only time this combo will change, so I'll put the board back to how it was. Because if you draw on which, you'd have gone for the combo, the first combo. But let's say off a of formula, you draw wanted or witch. You can go wanted for witch. Discard a dead card, let's say your hand's not this and it's like another copy of Ash or some irrelevant card. I mean, you could also discard this, it's probably not the other one. But let's say you discard that random extra card, summon Witch, Witch that you wanted, which is follow up for the next turn. Then you discard, uh, if you use Wanted, you can draw a card, right? You banish this, you put the original back. Then you discard the whatever random card you drew. You summon back the Jet. I mean, yeah, not, the, not that thing. And you make a Savage. And then Savage will put the Link Creeble in the Spawn Trap Grid Zone. And this is the same board if you drew Witch plus Ash. It's just drawing Witch later in the combo and does the exact same thing. And you still play it the exact same way I showed you guys originally, where it's negate with Savage first. Then you try to sink her with the Savage into Baron. Then you try to use the Flame Bridge to summon IP. And then you use SP. And then you still have the Princess in the Grave. So this is the second combo. This
play the Amber Whale because this is the only combo where Amber would be technically better than Raging Phoenix. It doesn't really matter. You almost never have to make this because we're always ending on Appaloosa. Um, yeah, this is just a basic combo. You use Wizzle Lance Effect as well because you want to put these here. So that way next when you go summon IP, make SP. You can banish something. Then if your opponent tries to threaten battle phase, that like survives you. That's also important not to play into Nibiru when this deck on your opponent's turn. So you try to summon four times, max, and then fifth time if you have to with the Promethean. But you like doing this because once you put this here, and if your opponent goes to try to enter battle phase, you can go Zolantis, pop both of them, or you can pop two cards, and it's like pretty strong. And you also have like the SP interruption. And again, you're gonna have non-engine on top of this, so it, does look, it doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot. It's like three or four interruptions. But yeah, that's just a populist combo. Nothing special. And then this combo will just be just the witch combo. This, one, this combo is actually better than Ash combo because it gives you one minor option as a princess in the graveyard. The only difference is the apple has two counters instead of three. Um, this combo is really good. I like it a lot. The combo, there's also multiple, there's like a hundred different combos that this deck has. If you draw these two cards as a combo, if you draw this plus the field spell as a combo, if you draw this plus original, I mean not original, if you draw this plus field spell as a combo, if you draw this plus uh, one for one, there's, there's infinite combos in this deck. These are just the most basic ones that have come up the most. If you have specific combos that you guys want to find out, uh, maybe I'll post a replay if you have a comment. But there, there's so many combos in this deck. This, this last one is the most important one I'll show you guys. This one would be Witch, just by itself, because I think that'll come up the most, or if you draw Wanted. Um, there's also other combos with like Populous and Witch. There's combos with like, if you draw Oak plus Bonfire specifically, like, or if you draw like Jet plus Witch. Like there's a lot of combos where if you draw the level one tuner, it, it can change your combo completely. But this is the last combo I'll show you guys. Again, if you guys have any more questions or if you want me to do like a part two video where I show, there's like five more combos I can show you guys that are specifically like Dibel Star Veiler or like Witch plus uh, Jet or something like that. I can show you guys those combos. But I don't wanna make this video longer than it already is because it's already getting kind of crazy. But I'll show you guys which. So it's Witch, discard a hand trap, get original. Original Sack the Witch. Get Ash. Ash is going to get you Poplar. Poplar gets you the Field Spell. This is very similar to the Snake Ash combo. There's just one deviation with the lines. Um, the Field Spell is going to get you Oak, similar to the other combo. Then you're going to Sack the Ash to summon Flame Bridge. You're going to link these two away. Summon IP. Chain link one flame or chilling two poplus. Again, playing around ghost bow is just because you have the option to. And it plays around other hand traps as well. Again, again, there's like there's lines where you're gonna get in a beard here. Same thing with the ash combo. Oak's gonna summon back the pop. This is basically the same play as the other deck, right? You're gonna make Link Rebo. Then you're gonna make Promethean. Promethean is going to summon back Populous. Then you're going to, because now you have Witch in the Graveyard, which is a Spellcaster, you can make Hida. And it's very important that you leave the Oak because you haven't used the Oak effect to summon from the deck yet. You're going to use Ash and Hida to make Selene. Because now there's three spells. There's a Flame Bridge Continuous Spell, the Divine Temple, and the original in the Graveyard. And this only works because we have we drew witch. You get to summon back the witch. And then you use these two to make Appaloosa for two materials. Artless so just like two counters on this. Then you get to use the oak to sack the flame bridge to summon the last flame bridge. This is why you play two flame bridges again because it comes up a lot. The flame bridge will trigger, putting IP in the spawn trap card zone. And again, this is just switch and it's really good. And again, like you always to play around cosmic, you want to go like temple summon IP and then you go the cosmic you get to summon at the flame bridge. So just make sure that's like a small thing with this the send board. And again you have Princess in the Grave, Apple for two, Flamer summon I this to make SP. And then you still have like your non genome on top of that. So Yep, that'll be, that's all the combos that I'll be showing you guys today. Again, I guess if you guys want a part two where I show the even more niche combos with like, when you draw specific hand traps, one for one, Poplus plus Switch, Witch plus Veiler, Witch plus Jet, um, one for one plus Switch. Um, if you draw like the Field Spell plus Switch, or if you draw Ash plus Original, 
Astral's Vision is also another combo because it can get you to your Gen Synchron without, and you can get to your Field Spell at the same time. So it's basically like drawing another Veiler. Um, yeah, that's all the combos. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. If you want the deck profile, it'll be on Pax channel. Um, make sure to check him out. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys.